when the vibe is contagious. Look in your eyes, feel it's dangerous. Grateful I had all the patience. I know you going through some changes. You taking pictures, know your angles. Ooh, no, we ain't perfect, but we damn close. Ooh, you give me something I can pay for. No angel, but you got a halo. Hey, Breaker Squad, what to do, what to do? It's your girl, Becky, back in the cut. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Subscribe below if you want to be part of the family. And click that bell so you don't miss a thing. Anywho, today's post notification shout out goes to. So make sure you guys go subscribe to them. Their link will be in the description box below. So make sure you guys go check them out. And also make sure your bell is clicked so you can also get a shout out. Because anytime I do shout outs, it's when you're here first or when you share my videos. So that being said, keep that in mind. So this video today is basically explaining why I have been on and off on YouTube. Not really here much commenting like you guys will see me here and there but it's not like how I used to be and I think some of you guys may have realized that but my apologies I really do apologize you guys know I love you guys and will support you guys any day and when I see you guys pop up in my notifications like I will hit you guys up like that's just me but that being said let me get into this video let me get into this video with no further ado so I can explain to you guys where I have been. Let's get it. So y'all, I've been off of YouTube for like, what, three weeks? So, reason being, okay, so there's like a couple of things. One of the things, wait, before I get into that, I just want to say an appreciation message to everyone that has reached out. Everyone that came to my channel and said, oh, where you been? How are you? I hope you are well. I've been wondering where, where you've been, stuff like that. I'm thankful and appreciated for all the people that have been there for me and talked to me through my little depression time and all of that. And I appreciate my family, my boyfriend, and my children for also lifting up my spirit during that time. So that being said, let me explain to you what happened. So March 15th was my stepson's birthday and in one of my vlogs, I did not mention it, but it was a science, going to the science center vlog. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put it in the eye so you guys can go check it out. But basically that day, I did not mention to you guys in the video, that I got a call that morning that I had lost my, it's like a mom, it's like a second mom, you know what I mean? If you guys never have had a second mom or know what I mean I just more or less mean like she been around sorry so what I mean by that is she been around for my brother for a very long time he's been dating her daughter um, on and off since they were about 14 years old 13 years old and my brother is 21 right now they still talk so basically she lost her mother and her mother and my mother were very tight. Um, basically, 2016, my brother's girlfriend lost her baby sister. Her baby sister was 14 years, no, she was 12 years old. She was 12 years old and she passed away in a car crash, um, which was very, very tragic. I really don't want to speak on the situation because it's very touching. Um, so that being said, she lost her baby sister. We knew her sister as well, so my brother was very hurt about that. Her mom was very hurt about it. Um, so remember, this happened 2016. Now, from 2016 to now, during that time, her grandfather passed away. Now, her mother passed away. So, um, you guys know where I'm getting at. So basically, she'd been around for my brother and she been around my mom because my mom's been also supporting her when her daughter died. So we just all been very close and stuff like that. So when I heard the news, it really broke me because I just knew how deeply hurt she was about her daughter. And I also knew that I wouldn't be able to, to put up with um, dealing with the death of a child. So that was very hard on her and that is not how she passed away. 
she didn't commit suicide or anything so if you guys have that in mind not the case basically it's just health issues that happened and she passed away so um yeah so you just lost an uh, angel and then we're, you were, I was just very hurt about it so that's why I've been off of YouTube for a bit I had to like get myself together the funeral was very heartbreaking some of you guys may may know about this that I had a funeral to go to I remember telling uh, my friend Tima on YouTube the Duma family that I had a funeral to go to but yeah, like I said, some of you guys may have known what was going on. Some of you guys didn't. So that's why I felt like I had to explain it. Because it's not that I didn't want to support you guys. Or I didn't want to watch your videos or any other sort. It's just that I was going through things. And it got me into like some very, like, it got me to a very, very depressing state. And I felt like I couldn't come on YouTube with that type of mind state. And I didn't want to come off negative or... Um, just being depressed on YouTube and stuff like that but yeah I just had a lot of worries a lot of fears that were going through my mind I was overthinking too much so I just had to clear my mind and take a break off of YouTube yeah I just felt like I couldn't eat I couldn't sleep I didn't really want to talk to anyone I was being very very distant which isn't normally me. I'm very outgoing and social. So it was just, I was just in a weird, weird vibe. I don't know if you guys have ever been in that situation, but I've just been in, in a weird vibe. But like I said, I'm very thankful for everyone that's been there, everyone that reached out, everyone that's still been here watching my videos, supporting me. I love you guys so much. It truly means the world to me. And I'm so thankful for the ones that are understanding and understand what I'm talking about in this video and just know where I'm coming from and yeah just thanks for being here for me but I just want to say a message for anyone that's going through depression or has lost a loved one and still can't get over the grief or the mourning I just want to just give a little message so what I want to say is there's not a day that goes by that you're not going to think about them there's not a day that goes by that they're not watching over you. Okay? Um, you can talk to them at any time. If you feel like depressed, sad, don't want to be around anyone, take time to yourself, but not too much time. Do not overthink, because overthinking can really drive you into the ground. And I'm telling you that. And don't take up the sadness or anger that you have on yourself look forward look at the things that they would have wanted you to do make them happy just know that this grieving process is a phase but the phase is gonna end up just feeling like how should i say this like understanding like you're more gonna understand it in the long run but right now it's more like, why did this happen? Why couldn't I have done anything? How come I didn't see this coming? All these things that you're asking yourself, and really none of us have those answers. So don't don't drive yourself crazy. Just keep positive, keep level-minded, keep sane. Talk to people if you need to talk to people. Don't be by yourself 24/7 because that's just what's gonna make you crazy. And if you need a listening ear, I am here. You can message that girl Becky and this girl will reach out to you. But that being said, if any of you guys lost anyone, I'm so sorry for you guys lost as well. I'm hoping you guys can get through this grieving time and just know that they are there for you still, watching over you, protecting you every day of your life and so is God. But that being said, I am here guys. I'm here. And I just want to send my condolences to their family right now as I'm doing this video. So, Brianna, Christina, I love you guys so much. I am here for you guys. You guys are like my little sisters that I never had because I only have two older sisters. So that being said, just know I really love you guys. I'm here for you guys. Stephanie, rest in peace. I'm watching over your daughters 
I'll be there for them as well. So that being said, if you guys can just put in the comments, sending out your prayers to their family, that would be very, very thankful and appreciative. So that being said, this wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My condolences to Brianna and Christina's family. And I love you guys all. Deuces.